Okay, let's talk about how to solve a proportion. And the problem we're gonna be looking at in this video is two is to 12 as X is to 18. So how do you solve this problem? Well, some of you can probably figure this out on your own, but what I'm really looking for is like a justification, right? Like, you know, what would you write on your paper to turn into your math teacher uh, to really kind of justify your answer. So if you want to think about this for a second or put your final answer into the comment section, I think that would be excellent. But uh, what I'm also interested in uh, is your understanding of what a proportion is. So what is a proportion in mathematics? If you know the answer to that, and you, hopefully you do, because this is extremely important in any sort of uh, algebra course or mathematics course at the middle or high school or beyond level. So what is a proportion? Because that's what we're dealing with here. Okay, put that answer into the comment section. But if you've been confused about proportions, this is not that difficult. I'm gonna explain all of this in just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I'm telling you right now, there's no such thing as a bad math student. So if you're struggling in math, okay, doesn't mean that you are like a bad math student and you're unable to learn math, okay? That is not the case, okay? So uh, what it's re what's required for you to do well in mathematics is two things. One, you gotta put in the work. So uh, you may need to work harder. That's definitely probably the case for all of you out there that are struggling in math. But the second thing you need is great math instruction, super clear and understandable. That's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test that has a math section, something like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, uh, teacher certification exam, I have a tons of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school homeschool math courses that can help you out. And if this video helps you out, consider helping me out by liking and subscribing to my channel. Okay, so let's get into what a proportion is. I'm gonna answer that as we go through this video, but um, let's take a look at this uh, question how, as it's uh, laid out, because there's a lot of different ways we could, well, I don't wanna say a lot of different ways, but there's a few different ways we can write this problem, okay? So the first is two is to 12 as X is to 18. Now, in algebra, this two, okay, right there, is kind of like a uh, alarm bells going off that we're dealing with a, a ratio, okay? And the way we could write that alternatively is this. I could give you the problem this way, two, and then you can have a colon right there. This, uh, in mathematics, this colon right there means the word two, okay? And so what we're talking about here is the topic of ratios, and when you're studying uh, ratios, you're often also studying something called rates, and you're also uh, studying something called proportions, okay? So typically, uh, which is a kind of a common chapter or unit in a lot of algebra courses or math courses is uh, rates, ratios, and proportions. So if you're looking at this problem because you're doing this kind of work right now in your math class, I'm telling you right now, you're also doing rates and proportions. Uh, of course, we are looking at a ratio problem that involves a proportion. So what is a uh, ratio? What is a rate? What is a proportion? Well, I'm just going to focus on what a proportion is. But if you don't know the answers to what a rate and ratio is, you definitely need to know that. Uh, a couple of suggestions. Um, uh, one, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel on this, uh, this topic. Uh, and of course, I, I teach this thoroughly in any one of my algebra courses as well. All right, so just so you understand that two is to 12 as X is to 18, you could see this problem this way, okay? These are our equivalent ways to see the problem. And there's even another way you could see the problem and we're gonna see that right now. Okay, so again, uh, two is to 12 as X is to 18. We could see it written out this way or we can use the uh, colon uh, notation. Or you could see it this way, okay, as two fractions. So here we have two, let me just go ahead and highlight this. This fraction bar, this is two is to 12. Now you, we have two over 12, but anytime you see something like this, okay, you can interpret the fraction bar as the word two, okay? Sometimes you could do it as the word per, but that's when we're dealing with rates. But you could write this this way, or you could uh, interpret it this way, two is 212 as, okay, that's an equal sign, 
x is 218, right? So what we want to do is take this question, okay, and write it like this, all right? So that's the first step here is to say, okay, 2 is to 12, 2 is to 12 as, okay, that's my equal sign, x is 218. All right, now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and answer the question, what is a proportion? All right, so if you don't uh, know what that is, or if you still want to think about it, put again, put your answer into the comment section. But a proportion is nothing more than two equal fractions, two equal fractions. So that's what a proportion is. You can see here we have one fraction, and it's set equal to another fraction, okay? So by definition, that is a proportion. But let's kind of look at something here real quick. Uh, let's think about the fraction 1 half, okay? So let's think of another fraction that's equivalent to 1 half, okay? Use different numbers, something super easy. Uh, let's say 5 over 10, okay? So this fraction, 1 half, is equal to this fraction right here, 5 over 10. They're both... Uh, uh, equivalent, or they're both equal to in value, 2.5 or 1 half, okay? So these, in fact, are two equal fractions. Now, here's the deal. When you have two equal fractions, you have a proportion. But what you have, okay, one of the top characteristics or properties of proportion is that the cross product are, is equal, okay? The cross products are equal in a proportion. So let me show you what that means here, because we're going to be using this concept here in a second. So I'm using, I'm talking about the cross product. Okay, I'm going to write that out. So cross means diagonal, and product means multiplication. So here, uh, when you have a valid proportion, the cross products are equal. So 1 times 10, all right, right there, let's write that here. 1 times 10 is going to be equal to 2 times 5, all right? So let's just check that. 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 5 is 10. That is true because it's true, because the pro cross products are true with these fractions. Indeed, that's validation that this is, in fact, a uh, valid proportion, okay? Again, a proportion is two equal fractions. So when we're trying to solve proportion problems, we're going to use the cross product, and I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, apply the cross product here. So what we're going to do is just cross multiply. So it's going to be 12 times x. So in algebra, 12 times x is just 12x. And then here we'll have 2 times 18. All right, so 12 times x is equal to 2 times 18. Again, this is an application of the cross product. And this is a proportion. It's one fraction equal to another fraction. So therefore, I can apply the cross product. All right, so now let's go ahead and solve for x. Uh, again, hopefully you have basic uh, equation solving skills. If you don't, no problem. Uh, I can help you out with all this stuff. But 12x is equal to 2 times 18. That's going to be 36. Okay, and to solve for x, I just simply divide both sides of the equation by 12. So x would be equal to 36 divided by 12, which, of course, is 3. All right, so x is equal to 3. That is the solution. But let's double check this, okay? All right, so... Here was our uh, original problem, 2 is to 12 as x is to 18. We just uh, uh, determine or solve that x is equal to 3. Let's go ahead and check that work here, though. Okay, let's go ahead and replace this x with 3. Okay, so I'll do that right here. So now I have this fraction, 2 over 12 is equal to not x over 18, but 3 over 18. And if I was to reduce this fraction here, 3 over 18, I would have the fraction 1 6, and if I was reduce this fraction over here, 2 over 12, I would have the fraction 1 6, i.e., again, we're dealing with a proportion. 1 6 is equal to 1 6. Uh, proportion, two equal fractions. You can see that right there explicitly. Okay, so anyways, how did you do? Did you already know how to do this problem? If that is the case, if you're like, this is easy stuff, well, I must give you a nice happy face with a good old... Matter of fact, let me just give you some colors here because... Back in the 80s, uh, we'll call this a 1981 Mohawk haircut. Uh, that was pretty impressive, just like your ability and knowledge if you knew all this stuff about ratios and proportions and all that kind of good stuff. Matter of fact, we'll throw in an A plus and 100%. Um, now, if you didn't know this stuff, you know, probably the majority of algebra students know something about proportions, but they may not have true mastery of it just yet, okay? 
here's a, um, a tip for you. Okay, if you really want to be successful in math, don't learn it like you know, like don't have the attitude like oh, I'll just learn just enough. Okay, that's a bad attitude to have. You want the better attitude to really master mathematics is to really truly comprehend what's going on. It's going to make your life much easier and your grades are going to be much better. Okay, so if you're just trying to get through and do the minimum amount. That never works. Matter of fact, you'll end up likely not passing. But if you take the attitude, it's like, hey, I'm going to learn this stuff step by step. Just work hard at it and really, truly comprehend it. Then not only are you going to do well in your math class, you're going to have a great math education to support you for the rest of your life. All right. So that was a little bit, again, about proportions. Huge topic in mathematics. If you want additional help on this, again, tons of stuff, uh, uh, tons of additional stuff in my YouTube channel. And you'll find all this in my various mathematics courses as well. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.